Hello and welcome to the Precision Project. Today we're at the Manatee Gun Club outside of beautiful Mayaca City, Florida. And with me is Matt Delora from Tactical Rifles. Now during today's segment we're going to talk about natural point of aim and the importance of establishing a natural point of aim. Matt's going to go ahead and get down behind the rifle. He's going to shoulder it comfortably. Now natural point of aim is essentially aligning your skeletal frame with the rifle in the direction of your target. What you want to do is you want to actually have your skeleton versus your muscles lined up on there. Now to establish his natural point of aim, what Matt's going to do is he's going to aim in on his target. Are you aimed in, Matt? Yes. Okay, go ahead, close your eyes, take a deep breath, relax, blow it out. Now open your eyes back up. Now, he, are you on target? Yes. He's on target. Now, if he was not on target, what he would do is he would shift his hips a little bit left or a little bit right until he's there, and then he would repeat that same process. You want to keep your elbows in place. The reason is because if you move your elbows, if you move your shoulders, what you're doing is you're inducing muscle tension into the gun. Now, muscle tension, A, it is not repeatable. What I mean by that is if you induce muscle tension into the rifle, you take a shot, you come back, your muscles aren't in the same place. Now when you're using your bone support, you can always repeat that and that gives you consistency. When people are shooting a precision rifle and they want to remain on target, and especially if you have to remain on target for a long point of time, if you're taking a long, long shot, you may be dealing with wind and other factors and you might be behind that rifle for quite a while. If you're shouldering it and if you put tension in your neck and your shoulder, what will happen is eventually your shoulders will get, your shoulder muscles will get tired, your neck will get a crick in it, and you end up fighting against your own rifle, and that's not what you want to be. In a good, now, are you in a good, comfortable position, Matt? Yes. If you're in a good, comfortable, natural point of aim position, you can stay in that position for a good long time, and that way you're not, it's rather than worrying about tension or muscles or yourself shaking, you can worry about making that perfect shot. Once we have established our natural point of aim, we can build upon that and we can move on to unsupported positions such as prone, sitting, kneeling, and standing. So for the Precision Project, if you're looking for a precise, well-built rifle, go to tacticalrifles.net. Welcome to Tabletop Tactical, and today we're going to talk about retractable stocks. Retractable stocks, everybody loves them, they look cool. This one right here is your basic M4 style, this is your mill spec. It has a slot to loop your sling through. It also has a, a uh, butt toe uh, sling loop right there. Now this one right here is perfectly fine, it works just fine. Uh, but there are a lot of different kinds out there. There are a lot of different styles, colors, what have you. And you've decided that you want one that's unique and special for your rifle, and that's fine. Before you order one, you need to know what type of buffer tube you have because there are, in fact, two different sizes of buffer tubes for retractable stocks. There's a commercial spec and there's a military spec. Now, the military spec, you say, well, I don't know which one I have. Okay, cool. And if the manufacturer can't tell you, you can always get out your handy dandy caliper. Put my little handy dandy caliper on here and it tells me that this particular one is 1.15. Now 1.15 is mil spec. Commercial spec is 1.17. And you say, what's two hundredths of an inch between friends? Well, I'll tell you what two hundredths of an inch between friends is. If this was a commercial buffer tube and I bought a mil spec stock, I'll probably get it over the end, that's no big deal, and it'll feel a little snug, and I'll, ah, I'll give it a little bit of elbow grease. You'll shove that guy on there, and it will stick tight as a drum, and you're going to need a sledgehammer to pound it back off. So make sure you have compatible parts. Not every manufacturer manufactures mill spec, and not everyone do, does commercial spec. So know what you've got. Uh, this particular one right here, as, as when we've got that off, you can see your locking ring. Sometimes these do come loose, and if you want to snug it up, don't do it with, with your favorite uh, monkey wrench or pipe wrench. Go ahead and order a dedicated wrench. Now this one right here, uh, you can get this from Bravo Company's catalog. You can get them uh, online. You snug it up and you put it on there, give it a good hand tight, and that'll keep your lock ring in nice and tight. Right here, this is an example of an aftermarket stock. This is the, uh, the Magpul MOE. 
slide it out, slide it in. This is a six position stock. So now on my own tabletop, on my own counter, I've turned this into my particular rifle. Uh, for this part and all others, go ahead and go to bravocompanyusa.com. EOTech Holographic Weapon Sites. Accelerate your advantage. A dedication to personal defense and a style and precision like no other company in the industry. With seven engineering patents, Car Arms ensures unparalleled reliability in the concealed carry market. From 380, 9mm, 40 caliber, and 45 ACP, Car Arms lineup is ideal for personal protection and law enforcement applications. 100% American owned and made. Car Arms is a name you can trust. InSight, the foremost supplier of tactical lights and lasers for the U.S. Special Operations Forces. Ready, up! For an Insight dealer near you, go to InsightTechnology.com. Insight, built for battle.